This video is how to use Trust Wallet Swift, which is a smart wallet within the Trust Wallet app. It's actually a different wallet. So if we go to settings here and wallets, you can see the main wallet and then Trust Wallet Swift. This is a smart wallet that uses your pass keys to set up the wallet and sign transactions. I'll go through what that means and how to set it up in this video. Trust Wallet Swift is a smart wallet. This is set up on EVM networks. So if we go to receive and then all networks, you can see the supported networks for right now. And what we can do is set up the wallet with the biometrics on our device. So the seed phrase for the wallet, we don't have to remember that and we never even see it. We set up the wallet with face ID or touch ID and that's it. We can have the wallet across all of our devices and we can sign transactions with our biometrics. Now we actually create the wallet within the Trust Wallet app. And if we go to settings and then go to wallets, you can see the main wallet here. That's a seed phrase wallet where we get the 12 words and we write it down. But the Swift wallet is set up with pass keys on your device and that's it. As long as you have the pass key in your Apple or Google account, you can reload the wallet anywhere else. You don't have to remember anything. So we'll go through that setup process. If you have a Trust Wallet set up already with a seed phrase, no problem. You can just click create new wallet, choose Swift as the option, and then you can just add that into your Trust Wallet. If you don't have one set up already, download the app from your phone and then click create a new wallet. From here, you can create a passcode. This is app specific. It's like a spending passcode. You can change this around an unlimited amount of times. You can actually remove it in settings as well if you don't want it. But for now, as you create the wallet, you have to choose one. So I'll just choose one for now, setting up the wallet. Now from here, it's gonna ask you, which type of wallet do you wanna create? So you can create a secret phrase wallet if you want, and you get access to pretty much every network in crypto, Bitcoin, Tron, many others that won't be supported with Swift. So if you wanna set that up and you get your 12 word seed phrase and write that down, you can do that as well. And then from there, you can add the Swift wallet later. If you wanna just set up a Swift wallet, that's right here. And you can see it's just EVM networks are supported for right now. So we're gonna press create on the Swift wallet. And then from here, it tells us about pass keys. Pass keys are created by your device. So if you're using an iPhone or an Android device, it'll be a pass key that's created with your biometrics and that's saved in your keychain or your Google Cloud account. That's end-to-end -end encrypted, so Apple and Google don't see that password, and it's only unlocked with your biometrics. So each time that you sign a transaction, it's going to scan your biometrics to actually go ahead and send coins or use dApps. So this is a way of creating a crypto wallet without having to write down the seed phrase. So if you delete this app, when you reload it, your pass key is gonna be right there, and it says, do you wanna reload the wallet? You say, yes, it will scan your face or touch ID, and then it just reloads the wallet for you. So no seed phrases, and it's kept um, within your iCloud or your Google Cloud account end-to-end -end encrypted. So you can go through this like this, read these, and then answer a question. What happens if my pass key is deleted? I'll lose access to my funds. Really important here, a pass key isn't created with Trust Wallet. This is an industry standard thing that's kept on your device. And the pass key is in your cloud account. So if the pass key is deleted, you are deleting the private key and the seed of your wallet. And so if that's gone, Trust Wallet can't ever get it back and neither can Apple or Google. So it's important that you never ever delete that because that is your wallet. It's of course very difficult to delete it. You have to go into settings and so you won't do that by accident but that pass key is your wallet. And so you have to make sure that nothing happens to it. If you wanna check the answer, you can see correct, and then you can go through and name the wallet. So if you want to set that up, you can press done and it's gonna create the wallet for you, scan your biometrics, and the wallet is created as a Trust Wallet Swift wallet. To show you how this works, I can recover a previous Swift wallet that I set up. So if we go into uh, add existing wallet, from here, I'm just gonna create the passcode again. And then it's gonna ask me, how do you want to reload a wallet? Because we're reloading a wallet here. I don't have a secret phrase, so I'm gonna reload Swift. It's going to say, do you want to use your pass key that I've already set up? Press continue, scan my face, and then it reloads the wallet that I have. So I've not put in anything here. It's actually reloaded that from my device and my pass key. So that's how it works. You don't need any seed phrase. You can use the wallet and reload it just from your device. Even though smart wallets are slightly different in their setup to original style wallets with the seed phrase, they behave in exactly the same way. So you have a wallet address and you can send coins to it. 
So to find your wallet address, you can just press receive and then choose the coin and the network that you want to use. Now, if you look at networks, you'll see these are all EVM networks. Your address should be the exact same across all of these networks. So it doesn't actually matter and you can check that. So I'm going to receive some coins on BNB Smart Chain. You can see the supported coins here, BNB coin, that's my address. So it's a typical Ethereum style address with zero X at the start. And we can copy this and then I'll go ahead and actually send some coins into the wallet. I'll go over to my Binance account and then paste in that address. So I'm searching for BNB coin on the BNB network, so BNB and then withdraw via crypto network. And it's the same for every single exchange. So you wanna be sending the coin that you want on the network that you want it on, and then you can withdraw that to your wallet. So the address right here, that's the one I copied from my Swift. And then the network, I'm choosing BNB. And then we can choose an amount to send over. So I'll press withdraw on that. And that goes over to the address of my Swift wallet from the Trust Wallet app. If you want some deposit bonuses on the exchanges I use, Binance, Bybit, OKX, I'll leave them down in the description as well. Just like any other wallet, we have a receive address and we can send assets to that receive address. So I have sent the BNB coin into my wallet and I now have that balance and I can use that balance on the BNB chain, no problem. If you're using other chains, just make sure that you're using the gas coin on those chains. So for Arbitrum and Optimism, the gas coin is actually ETH, same as the Ethereum network. So whichever network that you're using, just make sure that you know what the gas coin is. If you're using the base network, that's actually ETH as well. So with the smart wallet, we still have to pay gas on the networks that we're using. However, with smart wallet, some applications can actually sponsor your gas. That means that they can pay the gas for you. So depending on the application that you're using, you may not even have to pay gas. And with the smart wallet, you can actually pay for gas in other tokens. So it's always good to have some of the base layer coin in there just in case, but some applications may let you pay with stable coins or other types of coins. So actually within Trust Wallet Swift right now, I think you get a small discount for paying gas with the TWT token, which is the Trust Wallet token. Um, a small discount is probably not worth it if you're using layer twos because they're very cheap anyway. But from now we have a balance right here. So if you want to swap that, go to swap, and if Trust Wallet allows you to swap directly in here, you can do that on the chain that you're using. So I'm on the BNB Smart Chain. I'll swap from BNB and I will swap it into a stable coin like USDT, like this. And we can put an amount in that we want to swap. So I'm swapping from BNB and it's going to give me $12 of USDT. You can see the provider here is one inch. So what Trust Wallet is actually doing is using a separate DAP, which is an exchange aggregator to get you the best trade and then you can swap that. Uh, so I'll press continue. And right here, we actually sign the transaction with our face ID because that is our key that we use to sign the transaction. So we can see the uh, swap details right here if we want to go ahead with that. So I'll just press confirm. And as you can see, you have to sign it with your face ID. So press continue. It will scan either your face or uh, your fingerprint. And then you can actually sign that transaction. We can also use the Discover tab directly within Trust Wallet to use some other applications. So if you go to Discover, and what you can see is a list of applications. Now for right now, because smart wallets are very new as of making this video, not every single application supports connecting this type of smart wallet. So if you're getting trouble connecting your wallet to an application, it may be because they just don't support smart wallets right now. So you have to go to apps that do, um, so what we'll do is go into uh, PancakeSwap, which is an application that supports connecting smart wallets. So any app that you want to use, you can use that directly within the browser. And from here, it's going to ask you to connect your wallet and then ask you uh, which network do you actually want to use of the ones that are supported. This type of smart wallet is on the EVM style chains only. So you're looking at Ethereum and then all the other chains, BNB, Optimism, Arbitrum, Base, obviously, Solana, Bitcoin, Tron, these aren't supported for this type of wallet. So we can press connect and then we'll press injected uh, and then Swift wallet. You can see that right here. So I'll press, uh, press connect there and you can see it's connected and it's actually reading my balance as well. So it is connected and PancakeSwap supports this type of wallet. If you're having issues connecting, then the app is still yet to actually support this type of smart wallet.
If you want to know how to use various types of dApps with Trust Wallet, like exchanges or lending protocols, I'll leave some videos below and exchange bonuses up at the top as well of the description. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.